What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And as we ramp up towards eFootball 2024, I've decided to take a look at some players and do a couple of lists, right? So we have a lot of this type of content coming. But as ever, I want your opinions and your feedback. So let me know your thoughts as well. These are seven players that deserve rating upgrades. All right, so we're going to start off with a player that I have used a lot on my Xbox profile. And he's absolutely tearing it up for the last couple of years in the Portuguese league. I don't know much. I'm not going to lie, lads, right? I'll keep it on 100 with you. I don't know much about the Portuguese league. I don't watch a lot of it, but I have watched a lot of clips of this guy. He's a bit of a baller, absolutely brilliant in the game as well as an AMF, and I would like to see him rewarded this season. We also have Lacazette, right? So Arsenal fans will probably be saying, nah, don't bother. But this guy is just an unbelievable goal scorer, man. Kind of lit the fire under him again last season. Can he continue it on this season? Let's see. Um, but look, he is a fantastic goal scorer. Um, it was it was going to be something that is a little bit dicey whether his max should be you know going into the nineties. But I do think a base of eighty is solid. And we also have Matoma. I picked this guy as a hidden gem way back in first week of eFootball twenty twenty two. And he has now become one of the best wingers in the Premier League. I'm going to stay at that. Um, and I'm going to, you know, put my colours on the mast. I think he's an unbelievable talent. I wish Manchester United would assign him. That's my club. But I think having him into the 90s would definitely be something that I would like to see. It all depends how you train the players. But I do think a base stat would be better at the 80 mark, right? We also have Muani. This guy is a free player as of right now because his club is not in the game and won't be in eFootball 24. But he's been linked, lads. He's been linked with PSG as a replacement for Mbappe. It seems to be just a matter of when and not if. And I do think that he's been tearing it up as well. Let me know what you guys think. Is 82 of a base, maybe him going into like the 92, 93 range when he's fully maxed out, is it too much? Because you're putting him in par with Oshi, right? So this guy has had loads of cards in eFootball 2023. He's had the Showtime one. The phenomenal finishing. Uh, he's had a load of player of the weeks. He's always in fairly good form as well when the new season comes back. I reckon that will continue. He is a fantastic goal scorer, right? Had big offers in for him this season. Looks like he will be staying at Napoli. They won the league last season and he was probably the main linchpin with uh, Cavaradonna as well. Uh, who doesn't feature on this but might feature in a future video. So keep your eyes out for that. Uh, but look, base, max, with a new base of 84 compared to 82 from eFootball 2023. Obviously with the way that you train him. You know, if he has a new base of 84 but only 24 levels as you see in eFootball 2023's max here, it'll be the same card. So I do want to kind of tweak that a little. We also have Paqueta here as well. Lucas Paqueta has been linked to Manchester City, has been linked as far as I'm aware to Real Madrid as well. Um, they've been kind of monitoring him. Brazilian, kind of a centre midfielder, attacking midfielder, is able to put it around the, pit, the pitch a little bit and physically as well. Is a baller as well, brilliant passer. And he's been a rare find for West Ham in the last couple of seasons as they've kind of lost Declan Rice this year. It'll be important to keep a hold of him. But he definitely deserves a big boost. He's only 77 base. And also, who I consider... Listen, Casemiro is world class. I know he is. But I still think that Rodri, now that they've lost a couple of players over the last couple of seasons in this whole position, this holding position, you know, Fernandinho was there. Um, and going through the annals of Manchester City history, you don't have to go too far for Yaya Torre and any of those guys. But this guy is the real deal, lads. I think he's one of their most important players. Big part of why they won the Champions League. Big part of why they're dominating in world football. He just holds everything together to let the attacking players off. He is at an 84 is quite high. I would like to see him go into the mid-90s for a max in eFootball 24. But let me know what you guys think. Do you like these series? Do you like these videos? Let me know if you want to see some more. We'll have more dropping. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you appreciate these videos. And if you want to subscribe, please do. And we'll see you in a bit.